Hello all, greetings. Today I'm going to be doing my second part of my binder tour. I did my first part recently of my BTS OT7 binder tour. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But today is going to be focusing on all the other groups that I collect for. Um, as you can see, little hints from my covers that I have of my binder um, and the groups that I collect for and specific members. I also have boy group binder. I have my other side with the other boys represented on the back. I have it split up that way because my 17 collection has grown exponentially and this binder, well you'll see, it's kind of busting at the seams so <laughs> I might have to split up my boy group binder into twos. It'll be just like a 17 and boy group binder. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just get into it. I'm going to start with my boy group binder first, and then we will get into my lovely ladies. Let's get it. Okay, so here's my first page of my boy group's binder. As you can see from my first page, and also my cover, I uh, collect 17, Hoshi and Woozy specifically, and I am pretty much done with my 17 collection for their Korean photo cards. Um, I know some of them, some pages are kind of empty, but I have pretty much everything on the way to me, except for some of their earliest albums. So this page is that like placeholder. But this first page is Going 17, and this Woozy photo card is my favorite Woozy photo card from his Korean photo cards. I just, it's so cute. I'm such a fan of curly, fluffy hair. It's such a weakness for me. Um, but yeah, that's going 17. Then we get to AL1, or Alone. And I have all of their cards. Then I have Teenage. This is like one of my favorite Hoshi photo cards to ever exist, ever. And I'm really sorry for the glare. I hope the sun is not going to come in and out too much. Um, but yeah, here's Teenage. I have all those cards on the way to me, just placeholders. And don't yell at me, I <laughs> I don't have all my cards sleeved because of all the comebacks that have been happening. I have been uh, neglecting my sleeve purchasing for my photo cards, so a lot of my cards are unsleeved. You can roast me in the comments. I know, I'm aware, it's bad. <laughs> but everything will be sleeved, I promise, at some point, because some of these cards, if they get damaged, I will sob because <laughs> some of these are really hard to get. 17 is like, oh, this is um, director's cut. Some 17 cards are extremely hard to get because the album is out of print. For example, hold on really quick. Teenage cards. <laughs> it's such a joke to get teenage cards because they are out of print. The only way that I've found success for te like teenage cards and 17's older albums is by going on Mercari Japan specifically and finding those cards. If we go this way, this is You Make My Day, Hoshi and Woozy, almost done. And then You Made My Dawn, I'm done with Hoshi and Woozy. And then we get into an ode, which if you're collecting 17 for the first time, it is uh, very overwhelming since there are so many cards. The carrot trading community is really great. People don't typically overprice cards too bad. Um, it's kind of gotten a little worse recently because Seventeen has really gained a lot of new fans, which is awesome, but also people have been kind of sneaky with their uh, pricing. Anyway, here's the start of an ode. I have all of their cards. This is a fan side card for Hoshi. I'm missing Woozies, but it's like one of my favorite Hoshi cards ever. And that's Begin version. Then we have Truth. I'm missing one card from Truth version. Then we have the Hope version, which is like the most popular and ode set for some reason. These like beret cards, uh, people find them more valuable than any other an ode card. I don't know who started that. I mean, they're cute, but like, whatever. <laughs> and then we have uh, The Poet and Real. And that's them for an ode. And then we get into Hengare, Soshi, and Wu 
cozy. And then we get into semicolon. There's semicolon cards. And this is actually the 2021 season's greetings, which I did not buy. I just bought the cards <laughs> separately. Um, I did end up buying the photo book because I saw one woozy picture from an unboxing and I was like, <gasps> instant regret, I have to buy that. This picture. This is the spread that I saw and I was like, <gasps> Look at how cute he is. And I felt like I needed that. Next is uh, incomplete cards from their virtual concert that they had in February or March? February? I can't remember which date it was. But these are the cards that they had, the concert cards I guess that they had for that. These two cards are from their mask straps and the rest of these are just the trading cards in the pack. I have the other Hoshi cards on the way to me. I am just missing this unit with Hoshi in it. If you have it and want to trade with me or sell it to me, please reach out to me because I'm looking for it. I've been looking for it everywhere. I can't find it. I did not think that these like group cards for 17 trading cards for incomplete were going to be so hard to find, but they are. <laughs> I don't know why. Next is Hengere uh, pre-order benefits of all the members here, and then I do have an extra Hoshi in the back. Then over here is Gosei Magazine, the white, the black, and the Makne line here. And next is just some Hoshi fan-made cards that I have, and a Woozy... What was this? Japan Dome Tour card that someone actually gave to me as a freebie. And I was like, what is this? And I'm like, oh my god, it's an official card. So now I have to get find Hoshi's equivalent. Am I going to collect that whole set? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are all fan-made cards. I actually just joined a cup sleeve event from Carrot Tomb. Just I'll link her down below. She also has a YouTube channel. And she made this whole cup sleeve event for Hoshi. And these were like the cards that she made. I have to show it off a little because it's just like so cute. <laughs> I appreciate her and what she did. Next is uh, Boys B postcards from the Boys B album. I got this from the Pink album. Baby 17. Next is Love and Letter Repack. These are the stickers that we're in, and then I have Jung Han's Polaroid. I'm still looking for Hoshi and Woozies. I'm not sure if I want to trade this Jung Han, though, because it's really cute. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I have a hard time trading for the bigger stuff. Next is Going 17 Paddles. I have two of Jung Han and one of Hoshi, and I have Woozies on the way. I might sell Jung Han's, one of them. I might not. I'm not sure. It's such an awkward thing to have to ship and it could get seriously damaged, so I'm not really super into the idea. And then I have Hoshi's Standy from Teenage, the Woozy's on the way, and then some little uh, You Made My Dawn like mini posters. So the ones I have, some extra sleeves for them when I do have the others. Uh, Hengare bookmarks, Hoshi, Luzi, oh, skip that one, yeah, there's that, and then semicolon, conclusions, semicolon, weavers, shop, linties, these are so, I did not expect these to be so massive when I got it, they're so big, and you can, like, stand these up like a standy but it fits so perfectly in this three pocket like oh so satisfying when that fits perfectly um and i do have hoshi's circle card finally on the way i've been looking for it forever and then semicolon units and then 17 what was this oh carrot land yeah carrot land dvd set and then Season's greetings for 2021, the postcard and stickers. 
And that's the end of 17. As you can see, 17 takes up like a huge chunk of this binder, so I think it would make the most sense to split off 17 from this binder because the other groups that I collect are growing exponentially. <laughs> like TXT, which is my next boy group and like a semi-alt of mine. This is the um, cards from their light stick that comes in if you get their light stick. Inzune is my bias in TXT, which is a struggle because he's like very hard to collect. I need a total of four Yunjun cards and I have all of these to trade for and these to trade for and he's just so hard to trade for <laughs> so I am planning on buying some more of their new comeback like not just the three albums probably a little more just so I have a better chance of pulling him because he's been a difficult member to trade for and I honestly have had a hard time even finding his cards on Mercari so <laughs> Only four cards I need, and I would love to finish him eventually, but um, that's the end of my TXT cards. And then these are the Dream Chapter Eternity stickers and postcard. Um, my larger inclusions from Blue Hour. I could get Yunjun's, but again, it's these larger inclusions that I just don't really want to trade for. Next is ATs, and I collect two members of ATs, Sanghwa and Wu Young. Wu Young was my original bias, like right away, but during Wonderland, uh, Sanghwa like stole my heart, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll collect him. So I do have more of Wu Young's cards than Sanghwa's because I started, you know, collecting Sanghwa later. So kind of uneven with that collection, but it's slowly going an extra page so those if you have any questions about like what a specific card is leave it in the comments below and i will happily answer this is my favorite Wu young card to ever exist ever i think it's a um i think it's a van sign card i'm not entirely sure but i just got it because it was so cute <laughs> So there's that. And then their most recent comeback, um, I pulled a Wu Young card, and that's the only Wu Young I pulled. Otherwise, I traded for all of these Sangwa. And then I do have these um, Wu Young Make Star pre order benefits. I think they're pre orders, and they're, yeah, it's a hollow card. I want to get Sangwa's. We'll see if I find it for a reasonable price, because he's a pretty expensive member. Wu Young is too. Honestly, AT is, is like an expensive group to collect for. <laughs> it's crazy how expensive they are. And then these random extra cards that are in some of the earlier AT's albums. And next is Stray Kids. My Stray Kids collection is very sad. <laughs> there is, um, there's not a lot going on here simply because I don't have all of Stray Kids albums and I really want to make sure that I get the albums and see who I pull before I start buying a bunch of cards. Um, so I love Stray Kids. I just have not been able to prioritize this collection recently because of all the stuff that BTS has been putting out and Seventeen and all these other comebacks that have happening. So I think once I am close to being done with my 17 and bts collection i'll be able to prioritize ats and stray kids because i want to i just i tend to focus on one group at a time depending on my mood and what i am feeling at the moment and right now my focus has really been bts 17 and twice so i love you chen I just am not made of money because <laughs> Chan's a pretty expensive member to collect for, at least internationally. He's a pretty popular. So yeah, there's that. Polaroid. I think these are pre-order things. I have Chan and Hyunjin. These film strips from Go Live. Go Live postcard. 
um, in life postcards and that's the end of Stray Kids next is day six a lovely lovely group that I love so dearly and a very unstressful group for me to collect for because I don't collect a specific member I just buy their albums I just did an unboxing of a bunch of day six and twice albums I'll link that down below if you want to watch these were some of my new additions to this part of my binder very much a fan of day six really love them I am kind of inspired to get the other cards for Young K and Wompil because I really love this like wave cutout. I might do it. We'll see. <laughs> and then their most recent comeback, The Book of Us, Negan Trapi. Um, I kind of want to collect this like outdoorsy, outdoorsy concept because I have enough room for it because I like it a lot. <laughs> Again, we'll see. Don't know if I can prioritize that, but I might. And then their earlier album, Polaroids. Some other larger inclusions. And just some other random things. Postcards. And their most recent comeback. And... Back here I also have Baekhyun, who I collected for his solo albums. Again, I don't collect Baekhyun thoroughly. I just keep what I pull, and um, yeah, that's what I have for Baekhyun. Big fan of his solo discography. It's definitely a favorite of mine. And, oh, come on. And lastly, we have GOT7. Now, GOT7 is a group that I very dearly love. <laughs> They're just so... Their personalities are just mesmerizing and just they're such a dynamic group. And my issue is that I want to collect them like I do Day6 like just buy their albums, but I do have a bias in GOT7. My bias is um, Daebom and Jin Young, but I don't know if I want to collect them thoroughly. So I am on a struggle bus of what to do with GOT7. Um, this is all I have for them at this moment in time, because they have kind of gone up in price in some places ever since they left JYP so this is a to be determined collection this is from their posters from their last comeback I have two of mark why didn't I trade for that oh well um, but yeah so that is my boy group binder Ugh. As you can see, pretty thick. 17, I'm gonna kick you out of here. It's time to go, I think. Let's go to my girl groups. Okay, so here is my girl groups binder, as you can see from my little cover that I have, kind of the overview of who I collect for. So let's just uh, get into my girl groups binder. So on my beginning portion of my binder. I have Mamamoo, who is my female ultimate group, and Wien from Mamamoo is my female alt. I collect OT4. You wouldn't know that from how blank <laughs> these pages are. Um, Mamamoo is a difficult group to collect for. They have four members, um, but collecting just four members because there's only one card her album and a lot of these albums are out of print so it's been a bit of a challenge to collect for but these are the pulls that I have from each album and I just kind of separated them per album and I don't love that I have only one card per page because um, that kind of could cause like distortion or something but since they're towards the front and not like on the bottom I think it's okay. I haven't had any problems or anything, but yeah, so 
these are the cards that I do have. I have a couple on the way to me, like, um, Reality in Black. I have, like, everybody's card on the way, except for Moon Beale's cards. Um, she's pretty expensive on Mercari Japan. Then we have these lentis from Reality in Black. And then we have Travel. I go back and forth with how I want to like display Mamamoo because there's four members. They could fit like four in this eight pocket sleeve or if I want them like facing normally in this nine pocket. So I am trying to see how I like the travel cards in this four pocket. I'm not sure. Maybe let me know what you think below or if you collect Mamamoo how you like display them in your binder because I'm not really sure and this is a Wien MMT card by herself make star sorry make star make star and then we have uh, Moonbeal's uh, Kino cards it's the only only Kino I've ever bought and hopefully the only Kino I'm ever going to have to buy because I can't stand Kinos one Huasa Mario card very depressing and then we have my girl win her album cards and inclusions from red I am going to be collecting her cards entirely I have a couple of them on the way to me I'm not sure how long it's gonna take but we'll see gotta get on that better and then these are postcards from reality in black Come with the album, very iconic era, very iconic album, very much in love with it. Love Mamamoo. And they just announced that they're having another comeback. I'm really excited, but the song looks really sad. Either sad or really ballady. I love their ballads, but I'm getting a weird feeling from it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, next is Twice, who is my other female ultimate, and I collect Jianyan, Sana, and Daehyun, as you could see from my most recent unboxing with Day 6 and Twice albums that I just um, caught up on. So I have them, the pulls that I had from that unboxing in here. I don't have a lot of Twice's earlier albums or cards. So, at the beginning part of Twice is kind of, uh, barren. Um, but I am going to be collecting OT9 for this holographic set. And we have, uh, Twice Coaster. Postcards from Twice Coaster Lane 1. Uh, twice to Graham. One Merry and Happy card for Senna. What is Love? My most recent pulls for What is Love. Really love this era. Um, stickers. Summer Nights. I don't actually have Summer Nights, like the albums yet. This is just what I have right now, so they're not in a particular way. Then we have Yes or Yes. Going along pretty good with Yes or Yes. I'm quite happy about it. I'd like to finish. This is like my priority set that I want to complete right now. These like film strippy pull things. Then we have fancy uh, pre-orders. This OT9 set that I want to collect for. And we have fancy cards. I am almost done with fancy. Quite happy about it. I have a lot of these on the way to me all of their my top three lenties the feel special monograph cards that's what these are um feel special is the only uh monograph that i have they're cool i'm just not gonna collect for all of them since a majority of them are out of print so <laughs> they're very pretty though next is uh feel special cards this is the ot9 set that i'm collecting for and feel special. See, I have to sleeve these because they keep like slipping out. <laughs> Don't yell at me, I know I have to sleeve them. Uh, yeah, missing 
my die hyun here. This page is done. And oh, Jungyun up there. So only two cards left for Feel Special. Nice. Oh, I guess I have to get this OT9 set too. Uh, yeah, a couple more of those needed. Uh, more and more. I should honestly put this in the back. I'll do that later. <laughs> I'm not very organized right now because I don't have a lot of my photo card sleeves. Um, these are all more and more pre-order cards. More and more, I am pretty much done with more and more. I have all of these Sanha cards on the way to me. I'm just missing this Jungyeon card. It's like the one with the signature. If you have it, please reach out to me. I'm looking everywhere for it that for some reason, like, the signature cards are hard to get. There's more and more. Then we get to their most recent comeback, which is Eyes Wide Open. This is the OT9 set I'm doing, which feels like the one that everybody's doing. I'm not original, I'm just following the crowd, clearly, of OT9 sets that are popular. Um, yeah, this is OT9. I really, really love these cards so much. They're so pretty. They look gorgeous. The only thing that bothers me is this set. Why weren't they all looking over the shoulder? Because this Sana card is gorgeous. I just wish that they were doing the same thing. It's fine. And then, yes, I am Sana photo cards. This is just the printout to have a placeholder in the middle, but the hollows are her cards. And then more and more. And this is a, um, what was it? Oh, Season's Greetings for Daehyun. I am looking for Sana and Jungyeon's. And this is just like a miscellaneous page of like unit and group cards. Not sure what to do yet. Another miscellaneous page of pre-order cards. And then Eyes Wide Open poster. Mini poster. It doesn't exactly fit here. Um... I've seen some people cut that, cut them to like fit the page. Uh, that gives me too much stress. I could never do that. But it fits here nicely, so that's how that's gonna be. Next is Itzy. They had their most recent comeback, uh, Mafia in the Morning. Very much obsessed with the entire album. If you want to check out my unboxing, please go ahead. I'll link it down below. And I have. Almost all of the Yeji's cards. Yeah, I collect Yeji, as you can see. <laughs> I have almost all of her cards on the way to me. I think the only one I'm missing is um, the only card I can't find is the unit with Yeji and Ryujin. I can't find it anywhere. If you have it, please let me know. Otherwise, I have everything else on the way to me. I have all of her um, Guess Who cards on the way to me. And I also am collecting OT5. For this like pink back because it's like two photo cards in one I love it and then this is the it's icy postcards yeah postcards it's me large album inclusion I pulled Yeji and Cheryang who is my second bias and Yuna, who is like constantly moving up my bias list and becoming a wrecker. And then the uh, Guess Who poster. Yujin Cheryong. I have Yeji's on the way to me. Uh, yeah, that's Itzy. Next is Red Velvet. So Red Velvet is also, like Stray Kids, a very uh, empty collection for me just because I don't have all of Red Velvet's albums but that reason is because most of their albums are out of print unfortunately and Silky's a pretty popular member to collect for so I am on the struggle bus of this collection but I that's what I have so far I would like to maybe once I finish Twice and Malamu or at least somebody is mowing their lawn. <sighs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so once I finish Mamamoo and twice, or at least get a very large chunk of them done, I would love to be able to focus more on Red Velvet, because I'm truly, truly such a huge fan. It's just hard, because they are expensive! Uh, Monster, Silky, and Irene's unit. And then my last group that I collect for is Everglow, and I collect Aisha. And Aisha is... Everglow is not a difficult group to collect for, but I, for some reason, never pull her. And I haven't really found too many people to trade the cards that I have for. If you have any Aisha cards <laughs> that you don't see on here and want to trade, I have a couple cards on my Instagram for Everglow to trade for. So please reach out to me. So this is what I have for Aisha. They also have a comeback happening. I have a page here, but I've never pulled Aisha in an album, so who knows if I'll ever fill this page <laughs> with Aisha cards. I just want her cards. Um, what I do have, though, is all of Aisha's large inclusions, which I'm lucky to have been able to trade for. I was able to- large inclusions I can do, but for some reason photo cards can't do it. These are the postcards that were in the album. So gorgeous. Love these girls. Very, very excited for their comeback. It's Everglow. And then lastly is Blackpink. I don't collect Blackpink. I just have some of their albums. If I did collect Blackpink, I would collect Jisoo. Unfortunately, I've never pulled Jisoo. I might honestly buy a Jisoo card to just fill this little spot right here. Just to have one Jisoo card, because <laughs> I have none. But yeah, that is the end of my girl group binder. I don't think I have to empty this binder and like create it into two yet. It's still pretty good. I don't know, what do you think? I think once <laughs> some of these get full, I might have to, but yeah. There is my girl group binder. Love all of these girls so much. We have been blessed with comebacks from pretty much all of them except Red Velvet. SM, please, we're begging you. <laughs> Okay, so that is the current state of my girl group and boy group binders as of now, which is May 2021. I have a lot of stuff on the way to me, and there are a ton of comebacks, as we all are very much aware. So this is going to be changing uh, soon and often. So <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from me and updating my binder and unboxings and maybe more chatty videos and also follow me on instagram because that is where i uh, have trades and sales open and just kind of like to talk to people about the community and comebacks that are happening <laughs> i post pretty frequently on there so yeah give me a like uh give me a comment and uh thank you so much for watching until i see you in my next video bye, -bye.